Hello, this is Linda Shanks with the Maricopa Library District. Today we're going to talk about some services for veterans. In 2019, 18.8 million men and women were veterans, accounting for about 8% of the civilian population age 18 and over. More than 5 million veterans have at least one disability. 1.2 million live in poverty and 77% of veterans age 18 to 64 are employed or looking for work. At the end of 2018, an estimated 37,887 veterans were homeless. About 11 to 20 out of every 100 veterans who served in Iraq and 12 out of every 100 Gulf War veterans have PTSD in a given year. And it is estimated that about 30 out of every 100 Vietnam veterans have had PTSD in their lifetime. In Arizona, the veteran population is 496,239. That's 9% of the population. Of that number, 6.8% live in poverty, and an estimated 893 are homeless. One place to find national services is the Veterans Administration with the U.S. government. WAM, What's Happening in Art Movement, is a community-based art society located in Surprise, Arizona. They stepped up to assist our at-risk veterans by creating Art, A Path to Healing, a specialized program to des designed to address their need for expression. The WAM Art Center has a gallery that displays the works of different groups every month. You can come in and view or purchase artwork. The large part of the gallery has 2D art and a side area has three-dimensional art of many different types. Some of this artwork is produced in the WAM Center in personal artist workshop spaces. WAM also has a library with materials on art and art techniques. A gift shop is also included in the center. The ceramic studio is the largest area of the WAM Art Center. In this area, they can paint ceramics as well as build slab type ceramics. Here are some examples. The ceramic studio also includes many potter wheels. One of the fundraising programs that WAM coordinates is Bowls of Hope. For a $12 donation, you can select a one-of-a-kind handmade bowl made by WAM's clay artists and help feed the hungry and homeless in our community. The proceeds go to local community food banks. This is Marty Wolf. In addition to being an accomplished artist, she is the building manager and head of veterans outreach programs for WAM. Marty gave us some background on the Path to Healing art program. Well, the Path to Healing and we started it about six years ago. Uh, the founder is Connie Whitlock, and she wanted to put something together to give back to the veterans. So we go out and we get sponsors, and they help pay for the supplies, and they also get a free lunch, and I usually do all the cooking for their lunches. And uh, we just invite them in here, and this is their space. Uh, every second Monday of the month, and they sit here from 10 to 2 and enjoy themselves making all different kind of projects. Today, the veterans were making paper mache pumpkins. Okay, we're going to do paper mache today. This is an example, and also on my head, paper mache. We are not doing this big because it takes way too long. Artists and hobbyists teach these classes. They also get to show off their work. These classes are available in many mediums, clay, paper mache, painting, drawing, woodwork, and others. 
One result of the Path to Healing program is the sculpture in Goodyear. These veteran artists collaborated to create a 12-foot cement statue of two binding arms, which they named Brotherhood. The statue consists of a concrete base with clay emblems to represent the five different branches of the armed services. The Veterans Writing Project believes that every veteran has a story to tell, but they know that some need a little help telling their story, so they provide no-cost creative writing seminars and songwriting workshops for veterans, service members, and their adult family members. They publish a quarterly, quarterly literary review of the writing of this same community in their sister site called Zero Dark Thirty. You can find more information at veteranswriting.org. The Arizona Veterans Stand Down Alliance is a program of the Arizona Housing Coalition that holds annual events and resource fairs in 13 of Arizona's 15 counties, including the nation's largest event of its kind, the annual Maricopa County Stand Down. These events allow veterans and their families who are experiencing housing instability and homelessness to get and stay connected to supportive services. Stand down is a military term that refers to the brief period of time given to a soldier to leave an active combat area in order to rest and regain strength before, before returning to battle. These yearly gatherings not only help end homelessness for veterans, they provide other much needed services. Arizona Mission of Mercy Dental does on-spot care as well as setting up treatment through other organizations. Social Security has workers to address the specific needs of veterans, and vision care volunteers provide exams and 424 pairs of reading glasses at the Maricopa event alone. The Arizona Department of Transportation facilitates veterans getting their licenses restored. There's also a special court system available for expediting legal issues. Veterinary services examined pets, performed 37 surgeries, and groomed animals to help out with their health and well-being. Mental health services were also available on site for assistance and referrals. Altogether, there were 133 service providers of all types. Maricopa schedules their event in the spring, and more information is available at azhousingcoalition.org backslash avsa.html. BrainFuse VetNow is part of the BrainFuse family of products and is available on the Maricopa County website. To get to BrainFuse VetNow, go to Learn and then BrainFuse Vet Now. Once you see that, you'll see our main page where you'll need to put in your library barred code number and your four digit PIN, which is usually the last four numbers of your phone number. In addition to the regular BrainFuse products, you also have special things just for veterans, like talking to a live veteran navigator who can help you with benefits, or talk to a live job coach who specializes in issues with veterans. You can also get help with resumes or anything that you need to write in order to apply for a job. There are also places where you can send written questions. Under Veterans Resources, you'll find links to national resources as well as Veterans Local Resources. This is what our Veterans Local links look like. You just need a Maricopa County Library card. It doesn't get easier than that. 